Hey y'all, I'm Ashlyn. Thank you for coming. Um, well, um, I was in my junior year at Arkansas State and I just happened to come across this Charlie Kirk guy on the internet. I was like, I kind of like him. And I found this uh, Turning Point USA organization that he founded and there was a, a chapter at Arkansas State. So I reached out to him actually and asked about how to go about doing that. And he got back with me and got me into contact with the girl who kind of worked in that region that helped chapters get established and worked with chapters. So she came out one day and her, I, and a couple other students, um, they were kind of in and out, but her and I were there for like the most part the whole time. Um, we had set up a table out in front of the student union because I had previously gone and asked about setting up a table inside where other groups have. And I was told that inside is only for registered student organizations. And that's what we were trying to do is get enough signatures so that we could be a registered student organization. And so we decided, hey, it's America, let's go set up outside. And that's exactly what we did. We set up to the side. We were not blocking anything. We weren't in the way of anybody. We weren't loud. We didn't have any hateful messages posted. And we did have a lot of uh, interaction. A lot of students came up. We got quite a few contacts that day. We did get enough signatures to get the group started. It is still there and established today, I'm very proud to say. Um, but while we were out there, we were approached by someone who worked at the university that came up and you know, basically it was like, hey, what are you doing? We told her and she's like, okay, well, you can't do this. And um, it has been a couple of years, so I don't remember all the details, but um, I do know she went back inside after we pretty much told her no. And then another lady came out and she's the one that explained the free speech zones to us, which we didn't know was a thing. I'm it's not, Rob, by the way. I'm with Rob it's not on that. Thing. Like, this is America. Right. This is a free speech zone. So, um, also, again, said no, we weren't going to leave. Then, university police was called. And I lived on campus at the time, which, to me, I'm like, this is my home. I think I should be able to speak, but that's another issue. Um, so, I was basically told just go back to my room. Um, however, the girl from Turning Point headquarters that was there with me, she was kicked off campus and wasn't allowed to come back. Um, I do believe it was only for a certain amount of time, but she wasn't allowed to come back for a little bit. And um, from there, you know, she had told me they'd run into similar issues before trying to get chapters started. And Alliance Defending Freedom is a great nonprofit law firm. They took on this case for me and helped me through all of this and did a wonderful job and um, again it, we petitioned it all the way up to the Supreme Court while they didn't agree to review the case I did really love Justice Thomas's response because like Robin mentioned uh, the university they like to look at it as they won and that's fine they can if they want to but in his words their acts were unconstitutional my rights were violated all I wanted was an apology, honestly, and some of these rules to be changed, and that's... We got the rules changed, but I didn't get an apology, but that's fine. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, I look at it as a win for me, so... I'm very excited to see this kind of moving forward, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Yeah, I'll add to that that the, your lawsuit caused the president to make an executive order, and that lawsuit and this bill then became through an executive order kind of the, the law for the nation. And there were about, I think, six or eight other states doing it at the same time. But this is the model that we followed. I got to go listen to the Supreme Court, to the president sign it, and she didn't. So there's a little animosity here. A little salty about that. <laughs> well, th thank you for that, uh, Ashley Wonderland. And of course, um, the. Uh,